The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. The maximum size of a smoke compartment is 22,500 square feet. At one time, it had to fit inside of a square no greater than 150 feet by 150 feet. This is 22,500 square feet. This is no longer the case. A smoke compartment could be of any length, of any width. It could be 10 feet by 250 feet. This will be difficult to achieve, but it is possible. Let's start off by drawing some smoke compartments of varying sizes. Let's also add some communicating doors, cross corridor doors, between our smoke compartments. And let's label them smoke compartment 1, 2, 3, and smoke compartment 4. Another limiting factor of smoke compartment size is the fact that everyone in smoke compartment 2 has to fit in smoke compartment 1 because there's communicating doors. So everyone in 2 must fit in smoke compartment 4. And as we see, everyone in smoke compartment 1 must fit in smoke compartment 2. There's no communicating doors between 1 and 3 and no communicating doors between 2 and 3. Therefore, we do not need to concern ourselves with this calculation that we're getting ready to do. With smoke compartment 4, we have communicating doors between 4 and 2 and communicating doors between 4 and 3. So let's assume 22,500 square feet for smoke compartment 4. Now, the occupant load number that we have to use for transferring patients from one smoke compartment to another are 30 square feet per person on a bed floor. And if it has one bed on that floor, that's the number we're supposed to use. Also, 6 square feet per person on a treatment floor that has no beds on it. So we take smoke compartment 4, divide it by our occupant load of 240 square feet per person. That gives us 93 and some change. Well, let's round it up to 94 people. And we multiply that by 30 square feet for the number of patients we need to move. That gives us 2,820 square feet of floor space we must find. This floor space can be in the corridors, offices, and other patient rooms. Cannot be any hazard space. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at martyhuey.com.